Right folks, well we've made our our first world. Next thing we need to do is program one of our characters to do something. So we're going to create our own program. What you need to do is make sure you've clicked on the object uh, icon there and then right click on um, one of your characters. Now I've chosen the cycle. So you right click, go to program and this is how you start to program. So you've got when and do. If I click on the plus, I'm going to start writing my first program. So I want it to move when I click, um, when I use the arrow buttons. So I'm going to go to keyboard, click plus again, and choose arrows. So at the moment, when the arrows are pressed on the keyboard, well now we need to decide what we want it to do. So I'm going to click do, and choose move. So that's what that's saying is, when the arrows are, uh, are pressed, he's going to move. Um, you can click on the plus again and choose from another option, so I might want it to move quickly. So there we go. So I press escape and press escape again to get into the play mode. I can now control my cycle. And there we go. And that's okay, but we need it to be a little bit more complicated than that, don't we? So again, let's add another program to this now. So, program. What I would like to do is I've scattered some coins around. I would like to allow my character to, to collect the coins. So here we go. So, when. Bump. So when he bumps into objects, coins, he's going to do something. So he's going to do eat. Okay. So there we go. Escape again. Escape to play. And let's see if I can steer it towards this coin. There we go. So he's eating the coin. Nothing's happened. Ideally, we want something to happen. We want perhaps um, the, the player to be able to score points um, for every coin he's eaten. So again, here we go. So, object. Right click. Program. When when he's got, once again, the coin, he's going to do something, the game's going to do something, so he's going to do, he's going to choose game, score, and then you can allocate a point for the coin, so I'm just going to say it's going to be one point. Press escape, escape again to play the game, let's see if I can actually collect this, zoom in a little bit here, collect this coin. And there we go. And in the top right hand corner there we've got one point. If I want to collect... Oh, I, only, I haven't got another coin. There we go. That's okay. Um, so you, all you need to do is do exactly the same for the apple. So you can allocate a number of points for the apple. And once you've collected a certain number of points, the, um, you need to write a program that allows um, the user to, to win. What you need to do is go through and experiment, play around, program uh, the characters that you put in there um, and really be independent about how you go about learning this. I can teach you a certain amount of skills but you need to be able to pick up the rest yourself.